In this video, I do pot. Clay pots. That is. It's time to get my hands dirty with some clay here with Peter. We are going to rapid fire make a bunch of different pots and I am very excited to try the pottery wheel for the first time since I was 12 years old. G'day everyone, I'm in a pottery class. Thanks for having me, Peter. Pleasure. <laughs> Peter from Peter McEwen Ceramics. Uh, I'll link to your website in the description. Anyone in the South Gippsland area who wants some pottery classes, come on over and get a class yourself. I'm getting a bit of a, a solo treat today. We're making some pots. Yeah, the pinch pot is the first one we do. It'll only take five or 10 minutes to make one, but a lifetime of practice to uh, oh, sure, perfect. Yeah. You're sort of punching it in, into a You're ball. You're slapping it into a, a spherical ball shape. So I got my ball. Put it on the board and then with fingers and thumbs pinching like this and rotating the ball. So what's this kind of clay called? This is a what called white raku paper clay. It's more malleable than I actually expected. I've turned into a bowl. I'm all right with that. I'll pretend I'm into. I made a bowl intentionally. <laughs> That's quite a good bowl. Oh, thank you. And of course, you can really shape them, pull the clay in different directions, or you can leave it as is. There's a, right. a phrase <laughs> that I use in the studio here. It's called Wabi Sabi, and it's a Japanese concept of the acceptance of the imperfections that might come from the making process. So we're all wabi-sabi here. And the other phrase I like people to adopt is less is more. Yeah. Well, you know, people, for some. More is a bit more too, you know, so, you know, to each their own. Would you like to see an example of a pinch pot with some texture in it? Absolutely, yeah. That's a pinch pot. With the glaze in there, that looks really yeah, cool. Yeah, and that's the deliberate indentations of the fingers. Yeah. Add to uh, a decorative effect. Is that it? We've done a pinch pot? Yeah, I told yeah! you. Yeah! <laughs> Do you see that pointed tool, that wooden tool just in front there, yeah? Yep. Can you write your name on there? Ah, oh, And yeah. maybe the year if Bloody you want to. signature. All right. The next pot we're going to do is a coil pot. Now there's an example of a coil pot, but it's been textured. Firstly, you got that sausage of clay in one hand. You start rolling it out, then you bring the second hand in, and then you move your hands up and down the coil to maintain a consistent diameter. When you first start rolling coils, they tend to have a flat side, but it doesn't matter if it's slightly flattened. Wubby subby prevails. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> wubby subby. I'm going to be the king of wubby subby in this video. So we'll take our first coil yep. and we'll make a, a like a Roman candle. Blend that end into there like that. Yep. For coiling, you need to blend one or both sides. So this is the blending I'm talking about. It's pulling the clay towards the centre. Towards the centre, okay. I'm and really enjoying the clay. It's just really cool. We've Not got uh, a base, Yep. so that can do us. Now we need another coil. Don't make a poop, don't, don't make a poop, don't make a poop. Be mature, don't make a poop. Now, before we go too high or too far, we blend those coils. Yep. If you come up too far, you can't reach Go down and the, blend yeah. the course. Now, if I want to introduce combing, there's a kidney tool with teeth on it. And all you do is pull the kidney tool up. You can see I've introduced that combing texture yeah, into yeah, the pot. Cool. You can also take anything from nature. There's a, a seed pod that just come out of the garden and that quite, quite often looks quite good. Oh, that's cool. You can take stamps of all sorts and sizes. If you put your fingers behind it, you can give it some support and put uh, another type of texture. There's a brush. I'm pretty happy with my little wabi sabi bowl. I'm impressed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it the artist mark. I'm going to give it the old uh, signature. So the next pot we'll do is uh, going to be a slab pot. For this particular vase, we'll go downstairs and use a slab roller. Yep. So this is what's called the slab roller. As you can see, it's a bench with a couple of rollers which you can rotate. So you put your uh, piece of clay down there. You rotate the, uh, the wheel. It gets proportionally longer. Oh, I lift that up. There we go. Cool. All You're right. up. Yeah, my turn. Up. 
piece of delivery. All right, for this slab pot, we're gonna make a cylindrical vase and we're gonna use a piece of PVC pipe as a former to wrap our clay around. So we want one straight edge and then we just roll that clay around. Just cut that sweet. We're gonna join the two pieces together. Yep. So the most common technique to joining pieces of clay is to score and add slurry. Slurry is only the same clay mixed with a bit of water mm -hmm. to the consistency of thickish cream. Yep. Dab it on and all that slurry in the uh, in the scoring provides the bond between the two faces. Yeah, you can gently roll the vase and then you can stand it upright. Alrighty. <laughs> Whoa. We will put a base on our clay. Again, apply some slurry to both. I have no idea how to hold it where I can't wreck the pattern though. Ah, this is sort of painful. Pain is beauty. Ah. <sighs> I don't know if you can tell, Peter, but I like to turn art into as much of an extreme sport as possible. <laughs> We're doing that. We're twisting out. If you're done decorating? Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. well done. Am I done? You're done. I'm um, done. I've got a vase. you got a vase. I'm quite chuffed with that. So we're putting the freshly made pots out on a, a rack to dry. So that'll be two to three weeks or less. You accelerate it by putting it in a drying room or in front of heaters. All right, so that requires a bit of patience, but I'm feeling a little impatient to uh, have a little, you know, have to, I'm just, I'm looking at those. Well, we're just about ready to go. Do you want to? Yeah, uh, let's okay. go. I'm really happy with these results. It's fun to learn as you go kinesthetically, which is something I like to say I am a kinesthetic learner. And if you like to say you're a kinesthetic learner, uh, the merch is available for a limited time, as well as some of the other classics, like uh, Obnoxious But Consistent. Uh, and other classics, Peter, such as uh, I'm an Adult is another is another piece of merch. They're all actually going out the window. This is my classic line of merch that is being phased out in a couple of weeks time. So don't miss out. There is actually 10% off of everything as we say goodbye to the history of our merch because we have some really cool stuff coming up, but time is running out. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those classic little phrases we've had as running jokes in the community or any other designs that we have there, they're on the screen, you can see them. You might've recognized them in older videos and you will never see them again unless you check it out. Links in the description, 10% off using the code last chance. Let's go kinesthetically learn a bit more. Okay, so to, we're gonna progress to some preparation. This yep. is straight out of the packet, ah. which you can use to throw with, but if you uh, wedge it, it's conditioned better for throwing. Can you slice that piece off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we take the clay in two hands yep. and we so push it down. Sort of kneading it. And you'll see it's a shell-like pattern forming. Okay, so you're actually sort of, you're making a wedge. That's why they call it wedging. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together. I was making it a splodge. There is another one. Splodging, that's a, that's my technique. And you, it's haven't a heard, you haven't heard of splodging? Not really. Ah, oh, no. Peter, no. you got to get into your splodging. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just like whacking it around. I'll come around this side. Uh, Maybe it might be easier to yeah, see. Yeah. Cool. Let's sl let's sling some clay. Sl so throw, <laughs> throwing down on the wheel. Slightly dampened surface. Oh, too too damp. Slightly damp. <laughs> Slightly. Yep. That's a good throw. Is it? Yeah. Oh! That's, that's excellent. Water. Yep. Put it over the top and start the, the wheel. All right. Might be a little heavy handed with that. Yeah, it's getting closer. Now, just bring your palm up a bit and centre that top section. That's pretty good. Well, you've started a cone already. So once you've got a, a nice cone, you use the bottom half of your thumb over the top and gradually push it down until we've got a nice little rounded cone. As you can see, most of that ropiness has disappeared now. I am making so much more goop than you. Look at look at this. What is this? Yours isn't as goopy as mine. Look at how neat <laughs> it is. What, what is this? Yeah, 50 years experience. Yeah, well, you know, if we could just hurry it up and catch it. Just, I'll just fix that. Just put that oh, back in its place. It's all right, no, it's 
I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix it. I can fix it. It's still good. It's still good. It really does take more strength than you sort of picture. It's technique, skill, and a, and a bit of strength. Uh, it's getting better. It's under control down the bottom there. I usually put on the music from Ghost. That's yeah. <laughs> oh, my. My darling. You'll have to come around here, Gareth, and put your hands over his shoulders. <laughs> now we're going to open out our clay. Yep. Keep the top moist. Just going to push down with my thumbs to about a centimetre from the bottom. Oh, this is so cool. That's good. This is as fun as I thought it would be. I love that. Now we're going to pull it up. We're going to come up vertically first and pull slightly in towards the centre, if anything. Then you won't go out. The tendency yeah. is to, for people to try, think they're pulling straight up, but they're going out and making a bowl straight away. So you've got a bit of a wobble up here now, but for a first effort, that's excellent. In uh, your box beside you, you'll see uh, all sorts of tools, but this is a, a rubber kidney tool, and these can be used to shape the outside or the inside. I'm going to just put that in there and push out. Another thing you need to be mindful of, you don't leave pools of water in the bottom of your uh, pot. The chamois, it's artificial these days, they use them to wipe down your car. And you can just gently drape it on the top, just the round edges. Okay. Your pot is starting to collapse a bit. Yeah. Clay gets tired once it's been worked for a while. And if you get too thin a wall section, it'll just start slumping down. Maybe I should wrap this one up. I'd eat out of that. Put my cereal in it, you know, have a good sized breakfast. All right. So this is not the end of the exercise. Oh, okay. We get our wire, we, we put some water on our wheel head, slowly rotate the wheel, push down, pull the wire and push down and slowly take it through. And then you slide it over onto your hand and <laughs> pop it over on the shelf. <laughs> it's, uh, it was so symmetrical before. There you go. Let's do another one. down? Yeah, let's do it. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, round two. We're doing the second one and it's bigger. And then we're gonna do it again. Even bigger. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. This is my tutorial now that I'm a master. Just push, push down, keep it wet. Make sure to keep the, just keep this stuff happening. You want as much of that as possible. That's the trick to good pots. Whoa! Yep, it's always, always good to stab your finger randomly and aggressively into a part of the sometimes symmetrical thing. You don't want it too symmetrical. You, you want a bit of the, bit of the ori nori, what's the girl flowy, foggy, nobby, wassy, bossy. What's it called again? Wabi sabi. Wabi sabi! Oh my god, oh my god. All right, back in the. <gasps> Okay, wabi sabi. Now I gotta try and take it off. Ooh. I don't wanna accidentally perfect it on ya. Beautiful, wabi sabi. I don't see what the big deal is. We are finishing off with a bang or a splat, whichever happens. I'm gonna say it flat. This is, <laughs> oh ye of little faith. Uh, yeah, no, you're probably right though. So we've gone as big as I can convince Peter to trust me with. Oh, that was a good, I'll just do that, shall I? Aim it. Yeah, you're pretty good at dropping the clay down. Oh. They're all being very centered. Thank you, I appreciate that. That is, this is a large, large lump of clay. Oh, yeah. All right, center, center. You have gotta stop the wobble. Stop it wobbling, stop, stop it, stop it. And we're, we're coning up. And then we're coning down, down already. Jeez, Peter, you were quick. Just ignore all the noises I make. It's, <laughs> it's part of my process. I made a bowl. It's just upside down and full. Probably going a bit fast. Yep. Just slow it down yep. a little bit. Yep. Uh, just going to use this technique. Just uh, 
You can use a thumb. Ah, yep. If you want to get there's a little bit there that's putting you off. Gee, it feels so weird when there's so much. Whoa. Yep, mine's a bit wobbly. Ah, uh, that's okay. Uh, wobby sub. That's what I like to say. I'm just going to start mine again. I'm just going to push it. Just Push it in the middle, just fold it in on itself. No big deal, nothing to see here. It's way harder than it looks, so I can certainly admire that you've got that going. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, just make, just make, there you go, pot. Oh, yours is much slower. That's probably the way to do it, huh? Yeah, the wider you get, the slower you gotta go. <laughs> uh, and that's my choice, my aesthetic choice for, I'm really going for Wabi Sabi with this one. <laughs> just force it into place. I don't get it, Gareth. I don't understand. I clicked on this video and the pot that Jazza made looked exactly like that. Weird. I, I expected Jazza to make a really great pot. Well, you know what? If I if, if I got had by that sort of ruse, I'd think, oh, I've been bested. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna click like and subscribe. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna text you my pot. I'm just adding, <laughs> I'm just adding the finishing. I'm feeling the universe tell me, cause Stop. Yeah, I don't see the difference. I think we've, yeah, go team. Do you know what? That was a lot of fun and we both made something really great as a result of our hard work. And I, I'm hoping everyone's enjoyed <laughs> God save us, You've been such a good sport, Peter. Thank you so much. No worries. It. Sorry, I got it. You got to, I got to, I'm a bit, I'm a bit messier than, <laughs> than you. This has been a lot of fun though. I've yeah. genuinely made some stuff I really like. Yeah. And uh, though I've overreached, which tends to be my style, been something I've wanted to give a go for years. Yeah, no, no, it's been terrific having you here and uh, you've thrown yourself in at the deep end and your yeah, first three pots were outstanding. Thank you. <laughs> it's a bit more challenging. It is. Throwing. It is, but it's definitely fun to to know that by trying it and being challenged by it. So it was really cool. I hope you, I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. Once again, thank you, Peter, for hosting us. You can check out Peter's website, links in the description. And again, anyone local to Southern Gippsland or who can come out from Melbourne for a day, great activity for, for some friends or the family. But otherwise, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later. That's how we, that's the outro. So what do you do with this now? Um, do we let it dry before we kill them? <laughs>